we are going to be covering some body painting techniques today, some basic body painting techniques. And, uh, you know, we've body painted a few females in the past, and today we're going to body paint a male. Uh, first, before we do much, we want to confirm that you're able to see and hear us clearly. So please let us know in the comments if we are coming through before we uh, get to the meat of this free Facebook Live lesson on basic body painting. Oh. Our artist today, if you want to slowly come out, Eric, uh, is the lovely and talented Yolanda Bartram. And Hello. she will be assisted by her equally lovely and talented husband, Julian Bartram. Hello. And their model today is Chili DeCastro. Uh, producer is going to tell you about some of the stuff he's up to, and he happens to be in very good shape, so he's perfect for body painting. Yeah. And I am Matt Winston, uh, co-founder of Stan Winston School, and on camera today we have Eric Lidoff, uh, co-founder of Stan Winston School, and online helping us moderate this, we have Dimitar Dimitrov, our social media admin. And what do you got there, Chili? What do you oh, this about? is uh, Instagram Live. Oh, are you also Instagramming? Yeah, I'm going to Facebook This is Instagram. so meta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So once again, let us know, first of all, if you can hear us and see us clearly before we jump into what we're doing here. Uh, and I'm going to actually check. Dimitar is Jake Sullivan online. says, sounds great. Sounds great. Thank you, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Sounds and looks great. All right. Once again, you are on the Stan Winston School Facebook page. We're going to be Facebook living for about an hour and change here. Basic body painting techniques. Cool. Please feel free to ask questions in the chat. Yolanda will be answering your questions throughout this webcast. Um, also, Yolanda is going to be covering a lot of basics of body painting that, that you should know. So, without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to Yolanda. What are Seven. we doing today? What is the plan? Well, it's kinda of nice to uh, kinda of wing it, in a way. Um, in general, I always find it easier to work with a female model because you can get away with a lot of swirls and curls and just kinda of do anything. But today we're going to go from where more of a, a tribally festival kind of look. Um, so I had a kind of like a, a headpiece thing in my suitcase. So we're going to just use some little bits and props and pieces. We'll be doing a bit of prosthetic work. Um, and right now I'm just basing them out with uh, a basic color, which is this beautiful shiny gold. Um, I use this Miron mixing liquid um, together with, cool. yeah, it's a mixing liquid with the metallic powder that's like it's my go-to if I want to do a fast body paint because it gives a really nice base and it you know people that look shiny look good don't they? if you don't have it in your kit you should get it yes it's it's our number one goal number one silver yeah. and as a body painter like you're gonna be asked to do the gold statue thing like millions of times and so using a big kabuki brush like this and just kind of covering the body up. Like I'm gonna put a lot of texture and uh, different colors on top of this, but it's just nice to have a big base on. Also the mixing uh, medium has like an alcohol in it, so it kind of helps um, set the paint a little bit better. Um, and also prevents it from sweating off a little less. You know, and on a hot day like this, you know, there's gonna be, there's gonna be about to be some sweaty models, you know, so. So once again, for you guys joining us just now, we are in the middle of a Facebook Live basic body painting demonstration. Uh, we are going to be painting Chili today, Yolanda Bartram and Julia Bartram from Body Effects uh, in, in New Zealand are, are doing this. They're here in town. And we're, we're in Venice Beach, California, in case you're wondering where, where this place is. We thought, hey man, what better place for body painting than a place uh, where people like to show their bodies? Exactly. Uh, Venice Beach, and, and, and such a great location for a bunch of tourists like we are now, you know, so... <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Yes. This is their first time to Venice, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, we've, we've just done the other Venice across the world, but... Um, yeah. Yes. We were in Venice, Italy a couple of days ago, yes. and now we're in Venice, L.A. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's kind of cool seeing both Venices. Um, I think uh, at this point, both are equally as hot, so... We have a question from Jay Robert. Uh, the question is dry body painting. I don't know what that means. But... Dry body paint. Maybe this looks quite dry because I'm using these powders. Oh, I see. Um, so maybe that's what he's thinking. It's definitely not dry. It's got that mixing medium. Um, 
it does dry up a lot faster um, when it's warm. The, the, one of the great things about using a mixing medium is when we go to wax-based or glycerin-based colors on top, uh, there's not going to be any bleed. And so uh, using a fixing spray or, or a mixing medium like we do, it's, uh, it means that all your colors are going to be punchy and tight. So you'll see that later on when we start doing detail. Cool. See, so this is my liquid right here, so that's the mixing medium. So it does dry up a little bit, so we're just going to mix it up a bit. More. Yolanda's uh, Instagram is body, F-X-N-Z, B-O-D-Y-F-X-N-Z. Now, I'm not going to paint any armpits at this point. Uh, that's one of those things you always do very last, because armpits, they end up being sweaty, and also you don't want to put your brush in sweaty areas and then transfer it over to the rest of the body. It's just, just a little nicer. Let's adjust Jilly to face us a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Um, that'd be great. And we have another question from Jay Robert. Uh, how long does it take you on average to complete a body paint? A full body paint? Like, yeah. I like to have at least four hours to do a good full body paint. It really depends on how much detail, how much special effects we'll be using. Um, we just uh, been at the World Champs of body painting. Um, and we get like seven hours there for like a full body paint. Um, including special effects but then um, you can't prepare a whole lot of prosthetic work and pre-paint that so you can save yourself a lot of time with doing that kind of thing so I'm, so I'm not painting this right here hi so I'm not painting this right here because I'm gonna put some prosthetics on there um, and I think Julian's kind of like preparing those for me yeah well I have this already pre prosated for you if you like it's just a we're actually uh, it's a breast prosthetic, but we're going to be sticking on an, on his shoulder. Yes, you can be versatile with yeah. these kind of guys. And is that just foam foam rubber? Yeah, yeah foam, latex. Latex. Okay. foam latex. Foam yep. latex baked in our ovens. Yep. Yeah, we're yeah. we're kind of known for uh, breast prosthetics. Mm -hmm. It's yep. kind of what we've been doing for the last fifteen years. Um, yeah, we kind of have um, the girly version of like prosthetic foam latex. Um, most people know foam latex for all the aliens and creatures and stuff like that. We make pretty things. Sexy stuff. We make sexy stuff and we do stuff for the festival market like we, you know, like little nipple covers and stuff and we sparkle them up and, yeah. you know, yeah. If you're looking for sexy prosthetics, yeah, exactly. go look no further than bodyfxshop.com. That's, cool that's spelled B-O-D-Y-F-X shop S-H-O-P dot com and also you can find Yolanda and Julia Bartram's Stuff at hashtag body effects NZ for New Zealand NZ. So check them out online. It's a rather big shoulder. It is a big shoulder. This is made for a small boob, okay? So, but hey, we, we're going to put all this other stuff around it, so we're going to integrate all of that. Great. Now, the what? nice thing about these prosthetics is that they don't have any bleeding edges, so you don't have to spend time blending it in and making it all perfect because it's just there. It just it's like a kind of like a foam latex decal you put on. Um, of course, like this one has a bit of, you know, it's not a perfect one, but we're okay with that. So we're going for like a bit more of that rustic look. He's been in the wars. This tribal and if you, kind if of you have time, guy. if you have time. Uh, you know, beforehand to prepare something like this, it's going to save you and your clients a whole lot of time on model costs. You might be paying a model per hour, so if you have something already pre-designed that you can just literally stick on with Prosade, it's uh, it's it's just something nice and easy. What's the name of your Instagram? Your school? Stan. Uh, Stan S Winston School. S Winston. Yeah, but you can just search Stan right? Winston School. Is that right on Instagram? <laughs> yeah, you know, so, I don't know. But you can just search Stan Winston School and it pops yeah. up. We're all we're on Instagram. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, gonna do that now. That's yeah. so funny. All right. So we're gonna now do some kind of cuffs on his arm. Um, I'm gonna use a sponge as well as a brush. So this is a technique that I use a lot. Um, so I'm gonna load up my brush with one color. So this is my darker color. What type of paint is that, yo? So this is uh, this is a tag wax based paint. Um, I think here in the states you can get Wolf Effects. Or our wolf paints. Um, Tag is an Australian one. Yeah, if, so. you're, in, if you're in Europe, uh, Chameleon or Diamond Effects. Yep. They're all pretty much stock all standard. All pretty much the same kind of thing. So now I'm going to use my sponge. I'm going to load up in this color. So this is my little mix of random colors that I had left. 
uh, we're going for this nice bright green. Um, Chili here might not like me very much after because some colors do tend to tend to like the skin a little bit more than others. Um, green could be well one of them. So just make him go for a run afterwards. Yes, let him sweat it off. Jump in the ocean? Would the ocean take uh, the green off? Yeah, could could do the trick. She's All right, so now I'm going to um, basically set this line up. So you're doing a tribal body paint today? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I have a quick question from Josephine. Yep. She has the same gold paint from Mar Maron. Is that yeah, that's the one. Um, but she doesn't have the mixing liquid. Can she use another kind of liquid to mix that paint? Um, yeah, you can. There are more mixing mediums around. I know Liqu Max got one. Liquid, um, liquid set, set from, from Ben Nye. Really good. Yeah, but liquid yeah, set, like Ben Nye. Um, like these two come together from the same brand, so I definitely know that these work well together. And now you've done something really cool where you've just yeah, so subtly blended the green and the Exactly. So black. while my both my paints are still wet, and I can go over it again, if need be, um, I just kind of drag that darker color down, and it just it gives for a really fast blend. So, of course, we're on, on site, and I don't have a compressor here. Like, I do airbrush, but it's nice to be able to have, you know, do all sorts of techniques. Shade, you want to follow us? Yeah, yeah follow, follow the shade. Thing. Sure. Too oh, shiny. Be really careful. Oh, that's better. We're getting into the shade, so you guys yeah. have a little less contrast. So. That's a great effect. And it looks uh, like your two shade, tools you're, you're right? using today are the sponge and the brush. No airbrushing today. No correct? airbrushing today. Um, in general, I do like airbrushing guys more because it's very easy to kind of emphasize all the muscles and um, yeah, emphasize six packs and stuff. It's a really good technique to um, to know and do. Um, yeah, especially all your male models will love you if you can emphasize all of that. It's, it's great. So we will add some in there, but we'll do it with some different different materials today. Okay, I want to just quick reminder for those of you just tuning in, you are on the Stan Winston School Facebook page. We are hosting a Facebook Live here in Venice, California with world-class body painter Yolanda Bartram and her assistant slash husband, Julian Bartram. Our model today is producer Chili De Castro, who happens to be in excellent shape. Yeah, um, you guys can follow my company. It's called Coded Friends, C-O-D-E-D -E Friends. Coded friends. We launch on Christmas, so that's my, that's what I do for a living. I'm just doing this for friends, and it's fun to be body painted. So I jumped in, you know. When he's not producing, he's uh, he's starring in a Facebook Live body painting videos yeah, now. Um, it's a new yeah, career for you. I'm leaving producing to be a Facebook Live <laughs> body paint model. Can you, uh, Dimitar? Can you please put that into the comment section, and can you please repeat that again so that our 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 buddy Dimitar can sl s s slap that in the comments? Sure, for us. I'd love to. Um, would you please uh, follow my face, my Instagram page and my Facebook page called Coded Friends, C-O-D-E-D -E Friends, F-R-I-E-N-D-S. That's I'm the founder and executive producer of those TV shows. We launch on Christmas, so please follow Coded Friends. Thanks, I appreciate it. Give Chili some love. Please, thanks. Uh, now, guys, there's some questions. We're going to get to two of them here from uh, Sarah. Sarah, first of all, is curious about... Um, your your CV. What what have you worked on in the past, oh. Yolanda? TV, film, stage, modeling. What do you mainly do? Well, I started off my whole career in the Netherlands. Um, so that's about like 19 years ago. Um, started body painting there together with my mum. Then we moved to New Zealand and um, got the chance to work on Lord of the Rings for a little bit, which was really cool. Dope. Um, so yeah, that's. I tend to uh, do like short films, commercials, um, pretty much all New Zealand based stuff. Um, but my forte would be really uh, body painting, commercial body art, um, and then further doing a whole lot of prosthetic work for all sorts of reasons and companies. So um, we basically got like a bit of an effects lab going on um, at our place and further we have a have a shop where we sell all the products that I make and then we import and export. So um, it's a it's a big variety of different things that we do actually. Which we find is which we find is one of the keys for many artists to, mm. to making it in this world is to diversi diversify yeah. and, and yeah. 
and find lots of ways to, you know, commercially yep. offer your artwork. Uh, you guys can find Yolanda and Julian Bartram at bodyfxshop.com. Uh, also, hashtag bodyfxnz for New Zealand. Right. So let's get back to process. Uh, cool. So yeah, what I just did, I used my little kabuki brush again and I blended in a softer green color. Now this is a, a glycerin based paint. Um, you can buy it here in the States, it's called Fab. And it's uh, glycerin based paints tend to take a little bit longer to dry and so they're easier to blend. Especially when it's quite warm, it's, uh, it tends to be a little nicer. Um, and I'm just kind of stippling that in to the arm so it just blends in with that other color right there. Yeah, glycerin paints don't tend to, when, when you're adding uh, more glycerin paints, they don't tend to pull the paint off, they, they just seem to move on the body more. So if you're beginning to body paint uh, and you're just wanting to do the whole blending thing, I suggest glycerin based paints uh, would be your go-to. We have another question from Sarah here. Um, and by the way, we are live, so if you have any questions about body painting for Yolanda or Julian, please shout them out in the comments. So Sarah asks, what's good cover for tattoos um, so it won't wipe off if, if it touches fabric? Oh, the, the tattoo one is such a challenge. Um, living in New Zealand, like everybody's got tattoos, so we end up covering a lot. Um, if I'm doing full body paints, like the actual gold will go over tattoos. Um, if people have um, tattoos that have a relief on them, it's, it's really tricky to, um, to get rid of that. Otherwise, it is a mix of... Um, Pro Air? Yeah, Pro Air is a really nice one, which is a, an airbrush brand. That's, um, a, that's an American-made uh, airbrush yes. brand, uh, which we discovered we were doing body paints for a polo, a polo gig, and one of the models turned up with a huge tribal tattoo. And then we just tried uh, using Pro Air on top to see what would happen, and only one coverage from uh, a white Pro Air and it covered it, so that kind of blew us away. Uh, but yeah, otherwise we would um, we would color correct. Maybe use uh, you know Skin Illustrators yeah. first. You know, the Coral Adjuster is a good go-to. And uh, Skin Illustrators just uh, released uh, their single individual pots now, yeah. um, and that's pretty pretty neat. And I'd also add European Body Art has oh, yeah. yes. excellent yeah. and very durable tattoo cover uh, paint. It's, yep. it's really bulletproof stuff. So check out all those recommendations. Thanks for the question, Sarah. And we are here on Venice Beach, California, in Venice Beach, California, with Yolanda and Julian Bartram and model Chili uh, DeCastro. We're doing basic body painting here today. And we are live, so ask your questions and check out Venice. Yeah, show them where we are. I am Matt Winston, co-founder of Stan Winston School. Eric Lidoff, co-founder, is on camera and our social media admin Dimitar Dimitrov is online uh, going through your questions so please keep asking and check out Venice Beach <laughs> James wants to know how hot it is there now it's very nice I'd say it's what 70 in the shade high 70s seems like hotter in the sun high 70s low 80s it's, the beach is nice here in California. It doesn't get too, too hot. Yeah. We missed something. That's cool. Oh, they're adding a piece. Oh, oh we yeah, missed yeah. everything. What are we, you doing? We, we, Back we're, just, up. we're just getting a little creative here with with the props and things that we have. And Did I you think already so. glue that down? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. It's just, just checking. Just checking if yeah. that's what we want to do. It's it's kind of nice to just, indeed, like, you know, just let the pain grow on you. If you happen to have some feathers in your suitcase, then perhaps you might be able to <laughs> stick them on your model. My exactly. spare feathers. I have spare feathers everywhere. <laughs> you know, having trims and things in your... Um, in your cat will help speed things up and finish off lines. So is that a new thing? I've noticed, you know, you've got the prosthetic piece that you glued on his shoulder. Now mm -hmm. you've got this feather bit you're going to add. Has that always been an aspect of body painting? Is that a newer um, sort of, uh, you know, adding bits and bobs? Is that newer? I don't think it's necessarily as newer. It's just like a, it's just a good little add on. It will make, it will speed things up and adding more interest into your full design so um, of course you know if you go for the full body paint purists then uh, maybe maybe that's not what you want to do but I always like to add extra three-dimensional bits and pieces because yeah it just makes it more fun adds more interest yeah, yeah. It does. 
So okay. what is next process-wise, guys? Yeah, let's see. What are we going to do? I think we're going to add a little texturing, a um, little 3D texturing, because that's kind of fun. Ooh, um, so we're going to a, use stencils, huh? Yeah, we Tell are going to use these. stencils. Um, I kind of collect stencils all over the place. Um, the main brand that I work with is um, Badass Stencils. They have a really good collection of all sorts of stencils. So it's nice to have... Uh, it's nice to have a good collection of stencils because it's an easy, easy go-to. Um, of course, working with an airbrush and stencils is definitely easier, but I'm going to show you how to do it with that. So it's good to know both things. And I'm going to show you another really little fun trick that um, that can be done with a stencil and um, and this stuff. Um, this is a fact space. This is a product that we make. Um, it's pretty much just a very good thickened latex. And I'm going to mix it up with a tiny bit of black paint. So well, I don't have to actually side. paint. So we can be with you. Yes, let's see. I need to have a little guys, container or a lid. There we go. Hey Jules, can I have that spatula? Yeah, you can. Indeed. It's got Prozac on it, but... That's okay. That will help the effects. Alright, so tell us what you're mixing with what. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of black paint which is just that water-based paint and I'm going to mix it in with this effect space. Now the effect space, we created to blend away edges for prosthetics you know um, you could do it with bondo but like if you want to have like if you have thicker edges and you need to fix things um, this is quite a nice way of doing it um, but yeah like if you mix it in with a bit of color like I can make it you know pre-make it with different colors as well but when I travel I just have the one plain skin tone and I can just mix in any color that I want and so we have a nice gray which will hopefully turn into a nice solid black once it's dried up hey guys do us a favor and share this live webcast with your friends on Facebook just hit the share button take a moment to do that let's build up our audience and uh, and give Yolanda and Julian Bartram some love for demonstrating basic body painting here for free in Venice Chill. California you guys get to learn something so share right. this video, please. All right. So now I've got this great latex paste, and I've got I've got my stencil. So I'm going to be using I think that little trim right there. So we're going to be adding that. I think we're going to put some of it. Let's see, right there. So I'm going to have Jules hold this for me because it will make life a little bit easier. Okay. Just hold your arm straight. Yeah. Sure. Right there. Um, let's see if we're going to follow that line there. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to spatula this paste right through that stencil. Got to be quick. Yeah. When it's warm, you know, like you can use a hairdryer to speed things up if need be. There we go. And lift it away. And there we go. So this is a thing that I tend to do for if people want to have like a, um, like any kind of mystique makeups or any kind of fun other texturing. Here, just um, no, just add a bit here, just. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say that this is going to end up being a super coherent body paint, but I just want to show as many te different techniques as possible in an hour. In an hour. <laughs> so and these kind of little tricks of the trade are just fun. Yeah, yeah, when we learnt we could push a latex paste through a stencil, we kind of did a little dance. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. just cool. There we go. So away. this gives you some some real Relief. dimension exactly. to your paint. Exactly. So here we go. Um, yeah, let's let's finish that top arm off and then. But with the stencil, or you're gonna just do some pasty stuff? Yeah, I'm just gonna add, bleed it off a little bit, just like that. So please follow the Stan Winston School of Art. I think their Instagram is Stan Winston Art That's School. Extra. Stan Winston School. Stan Winston School. Just search us on, on Google, Stan Winston School. You'll find all of our social media platforms. And you'll learn how to body paint and make monsters and creatures and uh, yep. be creative. And we're uh, streaming this live on Facebook right now through Stan Winston School. Yeah, we're on Stan Winston probably, what, every every second day? Yep. Yeah, we, learn so lots. Yeah. <laughs> we learn yeah. lots. Oh, man. So yeah. informative. It's just nice to even have on the background, you know, when you're working in your 
effects lab. A lot of people just, tell us that they just like yeah. to have it on as, yep. as room tone. And yeah, exactly. Up, well, yeah, you know, like, you're just listening into what you know. You're not necessarily sitting there watching every little step of the way, but you know, like. Oh, and then there are a couple of aha moments. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, oh my god, I've been doing it wrong all my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So if you think you might have been doing it wrong your whole life, go to stanwinstonschool.com and we'll show you the right way to do it. You're doing you are, it wrong. You are joining us once again for a free basic body painting demonstration. Here with the uh, leads from Body F the Body FX. Body FX? Is body the full yeah. Yeah. And you can find them on at bodyfxshop.com and you can buy some stuff from them and learn more about them. Also check them out at hashtag body effects NZ for New Zealand. And they just came from the world, what's the name of the event? The world, world Body Paint Festival. The yeah. World Body Paint Festival. Yeah. Body yeah. painting has gotten huge. Yeah, it's over 40 countries compete in that. And it's, uh, it's the quality of work is insanely good. It's, and it's been getting better every year. Like. It's, it's all Stan Winston's fault though. <laughs> it's all Stan Winston's fault. Everyone and, watches Stan Winston too much. This is a great way to enter into to this uh, world of uh, creativity because you don't need very expensive silicone from latexes no. and this and that. You just need paint, creativity, yep. and a canvas, a human canvas. And you can get so many incredible effects just with paint. Um, and the goal today is to show you as many as we can in one hour. So, so far we've seen uh, basing out with a... A, what, would you, what did you call this? This is like, a, like an alcohol base, or yeah, yeah, it's basically an, an, an alcohol base mixing liquid, yeah. which uh, Mayron, uh, a Mayron mixing liquid, or you could use a Liquiset or a MAC. But, so, this is the one we use mostly. And talk us through all the ele elements that have gone on already. Okay, so Yolanda's obviously done um, a wax, a sponge, and brush blend for the green, and then she's done. Uh, uh, glycerin paint uh, blend up into a wax wax paint blend um, which she's also uh, doing she's also uh, been doing uh, just a, a basic uh, stick on appliance but she's now basing out with a black to blend yep. it in into his shoulder uh, we did the FX base with, with the stencil yeah and you know yep. you, you push like a, a, a thick and latex through a stencil um, and you, you can imagine all the different types of looks get with a stencil you could go more ornate or you know whatever you wanted to um, and then we're going to be doing um, a neck piece uh, and, yep. I'm going to put that on now so I can, cool. so I can see one, how... one part's been prosated already you can feel it on the edges oh yep, yep. there we go yep. Cool. So we're going to put your arm through here. Okay. So yeah. as Julian said, this has some prosade on it that's been allowed to get a little tacky and dry. It's a great adhesive, uh, very safe. It's actually a medical adhesive. An acrylic and medical adhesive. Yeah. There we go. So this is a little something we prepared earlier. I tend to reuse a lot of my props and pieces. Hey, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Chili, C H I L L E, De Castro, D E C A S T R O. Chili De Castro. I don't have any Instagram followers, but I'd like a couple. <laughs> Give Chili some love for standing here half naked for us in Venice Beach. We want to have it gluing on today. So fun. And tell them about your show that you're producing, Chili. Where can they find Oh, yeah, you can find my show on Coded Friends, C O D E D Friends, on Instagram or Facebook. We launch on Christmas with an app. So it's Coded Friends, C-O-D-E-D -E Friends. If you register on my website, it helps me raise money. It helps me raise money as I raise money from investors. <laughs> Don't you guys love social media? I love it. It's the best. Dope. I mean, I didn't know I'd be painted by world-class body painters today. You, know? you never happened. know what's going to happen. happen. So we have a question from Michelle. I hope yeah. I'm saying your name correctly, Michelle. Talking about rash and burn effects, are you able to get great rash and burn effects from your your body your bo same body paint? You can though, yeah. Uh, depending on what materials you use, and um, like we have some stencils that I would use for a rash. Um, depending again, of course, what kind of rashes you would be working with. But um, the, I've done some really excellent rashes with like this kind of stencil. So having a stencil helps a lot. Um, I think for rashes and for more like realistic effects, I would be working with an alcohol base, so like an illustrator or a, um, yeah, European body art one. Um, or, or a bruise wheel. Or a bruise wheel, yeah. yep. Nothing wrong with just a, a 
good solid bruise wheel. Um, most effects artists will always have a bruise wheel in their kit. So you can work with that. Once again, you are watching Basic Body Painting Techniques on the Stan Winston School Facebook page. We are here with Yolanda and Julian Bartram, the owners of Body FX in New Zealand. You can check out their website, bodyfxshop.com. Also, hashtag bodyfxnz. And right. please feel free to ask as many questions as you like. We only have a little while longer, and anything you'd ever want to know about body painting, one of these two folks can probably answer the question. Totally. So, all right. Uh, we uh, we've been together live for a little bit now. This is the second part. To bring those of you up to speed, Yolanda, tell them what you've done so far. Just give us a quick tour of what's done. I know you're looking for a spot for yeah. these new pieces, but so yeah, we based them out with like this gold tone with some mixing liquid and gold powder then we did some uh, little sleevey bits with normal body paint and blended them in into each other as in different colors and we stuck on some prosthetics we added some um, thickened latex through a stencil to add some extra interesting texture and now I'm just adding these little pieces so I'm integrating his like neck piece into his skin and I'm creating a bit of a, a collar piece. Now I'm just going to... It's because I'm an animal. <laughs> now I'm going to be using that little one stroke. Um, this is a thing being used massively in face painting industry but it really applies for body art and it looks really cool when you can work with multiple colors at the same time. So this one color fits really nicely with everything. So I'm um, making sure my brush is wet enough. We don't want it too wet, but it really needs to slide nicely. And so checking if we're... Oh, that's beautiful. So is that a custom palette that you created? Um, you can buy these palettes. So. Um, but yet you can just as well create them yourself with the colors that you enjoy. Um, before the, before this, uh, the suppliers made these, we would cut up paint and push them into fishing tackle, mm -hmm. which would give us the optimum colors for face painting. So you're, you're doing faster work with, with one stroke paints. And you can flip your brush around and you can get quite a different look. So the minute you flip it, you have your other color on the outside and it just gives you that whole different kind of color scheme. Did you already mention where you purchased this palette? Because it's super cool. And can um, you see that, Eric, that palette? It's really cool. So yeah, these come in like hundred thousands different colors, big and small. Um, this one is a, is a global one, so I work a lot with the globals. Um, but in America, Yolanda, where would you buy? Where would you buy? Um, I would buy Silly Farm. They have pretty much the biggest range here in the States. Can you say that again, please? Um, Silly Farm. Spell it. Um, S-I-L-L-Y-F-A-R-M. So, Silly Farm. So, sillyfarm.com. Yes. They've yep. got these cool... Uh, anything color like palettes. body paint wise they are the place to go yeah. anything face paint body art so, um, so yeah you basically end up using like a big flat brush like this for these kind of techniques and there's so many different things that you can do with this so let's uh, see that brush show, show, oh, us yeah. show that brush here we go so that's like a big brush you want to have a big brush that kind of fits over all those colors and then you have your multiple color choices there that you can work with. So it's it's a whole new technique for like painting, but it's definitely a really cool one. All right, now I'm going to use a little bit of that green. Just just going to be shading up, adding some more definition in to his body. Not that I really needs it, but it's nice. It's yeah, nice Chili's in pretty good shape. Yeah. I heard in the movie 300 there was a lot of accentuating of musculature oh, yeah, with yes. makeup. 
That yep. wasn't all their their physiques. That made no. me feel better to know that. Yeah. Yeah. They had a, they had a whole team of blocking out tattoos as well. Yeah. Yeah. And and then they had a whole airbrush section for making it a bit bigger. But hey, they they were dieting and they were working out yes. for months. So. Yeah. They looked yeah. good. Oh, they looked amazing. Yeah. One of my favorite films. Yes. Totally. Any of you aspiring body painters out there, or if you're just curious about this stuff, please feel free to ask questions in the comments. You have one of uh, the world's top body painting duos here, uh, Julian and Yolanda Bartram, so ask questions. So yeah, doing any kind of um, oh, shape. Hold on guys, we're in Venice Beach, California. And this is the kind of fun stuff that you see. You know, this, is, this is a dude with a wagon and... Reggae for children! Reggae for children! <laughs> School teacher, musician, icecreamsongs.com, icecreamsongs.com. Check it out, icecreamsongs.com. If you want to have reggae for your children when you come to L.A., check them out. We're in Venice Beach, California. I'm Matt Winston, co-founder of Stan Winston School, and we are hosting a basic body painting uh, free class on Facebook Live. That's awesome. <laughs> this is really fun. I mean, this is really fun. It's such a good time. You have no idea. It's so fun. You can smell that weed. Um, we have a question from Mandy, who's yeah. now just joining us. What kind of paints are you using? Can, well, can we stay here at your table and yeah, yeah, we just totally get can. a quick tour of the materials you've been using today? So I've been using like glycerin-based and wax-based. So these are the wax-based ones. Wax-based wax -based paints, they are uh, a lot more um, crisp in their color. And, they, yeah, and they're more opaque. They dry a lot faster as well. Um, and they're a little harder to blend. Um, so here in the States, Wolf is a good brand for that. Um, you can get, um, let's see what else is here. It's mainly Wolf. Mainly but, Wolf or yeah. Tag, like Silly tag, Farm supplies. Yeah. yeah, Silly Farm does a lot of those. So um, Tag is another one you guys yep. just mentioned, and yep. Wolf. Yep. Um, and then there's the, the glycerin based one, so that's the Fab. Um, it comes Paradise. in, or Paradise is really nice too. Um, and these colors they blend a little easier um, and these, these one strokes they're global tag uh, fab there's so many different kinds on the market nowadays so definitely helps um, yeah Jules maybe you want to talk about that stuff sure well uh, we have um, uh, Meron uh, metallic powder this is a go-to for any body painter or a face painter uh, and it typically comes with, well, you should normally buy it with uh, the Maron mixing liquid. Um, if I'm selling uh, gold or silver in my shop, it's this, and then it's the, the Maron gold, or the Maron silver, uh, with, uh, the Paradise, and then water-based paints. But this is a definite go-to, especially if you're doing um, Oscar body paints or full gold body paints. It would be the number one. We're going to be using um, Bio Glitter. As well soon. If we have the time. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, but you can go anywhere for any of this stuff in America would be Silly Farm, uh, sillyfarmsupplies.com, I think. Thank All you right. very much, Julian. Cool. Um, just adding a bit more texturing. Um, now I'm going to be using a, another stencil. I, I love working with more like kind of organic stencils because it just kind of blends into the skin really nicely. I'm using this really lovely um, black Ben Nye eyeshadow powder. So um, eyeshadows can be used on the body. There's no rule for that. You know, so anything can be used anywhere. Um, so when I do any kind of thing like that, um, working with stencils, you want to work very dry. So working with a powder will definitely um, prevent you messing up because um, it's quite easy to have like a whole lot of paint dripping underneath your stencil. So if you can work with a powder, you can instantly add that little bit of the extra texture. So I'm just using the black, just adding a bit more interest in all those little crease areas, making it a little bit more fun. You, and you've covered already just a lot of techniques. We've got the um, stencil with the liquid latex, your own formulation, which is mm -hmm. cool. You got this 
crazy palette you used uh, at the top there, at uh, the top of this chest, you have prosthetics, you have a headpiece, you have feather bits, and now you're you're playing with sh using shadow. Uh, yeah, just eyeshadow. adding a bit of shading to the whole thing. Or powder. So, um, the nice thing about using powders on top of paint is that you don't lift up the paint that you already laid down. So powder can always go on top of anything. So I can put like shadow right here underneath it and I can just pop things out. It's kind of create like drop shadows. And just adding a whole lot of depth to things. So we're just going to add some uh, more line work around this as well. Um, the other thing, Jules, if you can make me some uh, gold mixing liquid, sure. yeah, that'd be cool. Thank you all for joining us here on our Facebook wall. We are very lucky to have uh, two uh, man and wife, I should say, man and wife body painting team, Julia and uh, Julian and uh, Yolanda Bartram from Body Effects in New Zealand, and they're doing a basic body painting technique demonstration. You can find out more about both of them at bodyfxshop.com. That's B-O-D-Y-F-X-Shop.com. You'll see it in the comments. And our model today is Chili De Castro, producer and very physically fit man. We're all, we're hating you right now, Chili. At least I am. Comes and goes. <laughs> Comes and goes. And you can check out uh, Chili's new show he's producing called Coded Friends. Check it out. Google that. Coded Friends. C-O-D-E-D-F-R-I-N-D-S. And give him some support. And we're doing sort of a tribal, a tribal look today. Dope, man. Model here to quit. Yeah. yeah, how about you just keep on uh, mixing that up? And I um, just might actually add. So tell us what's going on, guys. Bring us up to speed. All right, well, Jules is mixing up some uh, gold mixing liquid that I can work on top of the prosthetics. So make them pop out a little bit. And while he's doing that, I'm just going to add some black uh, brush strokes to this center piece. So I'm just going to add like some line work. Oh, this is beautiful. So. Now she's been doing this a while, so there's a real confidence to her strokes. Don't be mad if you're not there yet. It's all about practice, this kind of thing. I teach a lot of workshops and courses in New Zealand and the main thing is I always tell my students like you know just just practice and you don't necessarily need uh, you know you don't necessarily need a model to practice there's always somebody that might want to lend a back or you know there's there's always the top of your legs your arms you know like you could you could practice on paper as well however I prefer working on skin because skin is such a nice medium to work with there's a great question that just came in yeah, uh, go for it. from Alex by the way we're in Venice Beach California that's why you're hearing so much noise it, we're in a, it's a circus out here that's why we chose this location and right now a song called lock Trump up is playing lock Trump, Trump up we are not a political company so we no. will not comment on that nope just wanted to point out that a song called lock Trump up is now playing in Venice Beach California <laughs> no comment all right Alex wants to know is this paint harmful in any way to the body any of the uh, products you've used and is the waiting this is the second question is for you chili is the standing here unpleasant so we'll start with talk to us about the safety of all these paints you've been using um well all these paints they are all fda approved they're designed to go on colors like i mentioned before um can stain your skin slightly you know um greens dark blues can end up doing that a little bit but you know, um have another shower um, use some shaving cream. It's kind of like the same buzz when you have fake blood that can stain your skin. So same techniques to clean that up. 
Um, but yeah, no, it's all super safe. If you can put it on small children, then I'm sure we can put it on that. Uh, yeah. Body paint your babies. Body we paint actually have a one. baby here. <laughs> yeah, well, so baby's we next. Might, we should have body painted the baby. We should have painted that baby. Safe enough to body paint yes, the baby. Yes, totally. <laughs> Don't know about the baby. <laughs> Uh, so uh, we have a question from Sierra. Is that a tribal crest you are working on? Talk to us about it. Sure. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of like winging it, like adding some bits. I'm. I know that we are. You know, there's not a lot of time to work, so I'm just adding some kind of feathery, leafy things. So um, now I'm going to add more gold to it. It's one of those pieces that just kind of grows while you're painting. Do you want to there do, is no real plan. Do you want to do some tribally links so you can show yes, people at home? Yes, I can, I can do that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to put gold. some of this gold on these oh, prosthetic bits. Oh yeah, now Chili, how about you? How, how is this? You've never been a model for a body painter before. I never have. How, how is it so far? It's really easy. I mean, I, 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 I'm an executive producer of TV shows and there's, there's a couple things that there's nothing real quick and there's nothing easy. You're gonna you're gonna put in some time if you're gonna do anything in production, and to stand here and be painted by world class body painters is not hard. <laughs> All you have to do is just stand there. That's it. Just stand there. Well, you're lucky you're only doing one hour. Um, <laughs> standing for like seven hours can really take its toll on models. Um, I've had a lot of models uh, faint. Oh wow! Because they they are locking their knees, so it's really important to keep movement in your legs while you're standing. Um, wiggle your toes, don't lock your knees, make sure you eat. Like a lot of models, they kind of go, oh, I don't want to eat anything because my stomach might pop out. But yeah, always always make sure you have chocolate in your bag for your model. Sorry, I don't have any today, but oh, she it's says only one. There's none for you. Oh, no, no, we good. usually bring chocolate, but yeah, yeah, none yeah. for well, you. Well, not Thanks for the so one lot. hour models. No, the one oh, hour models, no, they, they don't get it. You said it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> forgot about yeah, the exactly. weeks and weeks it took to get to this shape. I'm ready for my chocolate bar. No, but yeah, glucose is a really important thing. It's a really, a really good question to ask. Uh, model, model management is a, should be a body painter's number one thing. Uh, if, if the model has any problem, you have to fix it. Um, normally, you'd have a foam mat for them to stand on. You would have got them to prepare their skin the night before with a good moisturizer. Not on the day, but a night before. Um, it, you'd, you'd have a whole bunch of gummy bears or, or lollies to, to, to farm out to your model. Uh, especially if you're in competing in the world body paint stage. Or if you're, um, if you're doing a big corporate job. You've got a model that's standing around for four to six hours. Then there's going to be a hurry up and wait thing where they're going to be waiting for two hours doing nothing uh, and that you, they're not going to want to eat or drink because they want to perform first and then there's going to be a half an hour or a couple of hours of performance before you get to remove it. That's a whole lot of waiting around and a, a whole lot of uh, standing around so it's important to keep their sugars up and make sure they're comfortable. Um, yeah so. And, and you know that's that's very similar that's very similar to a, an actor who's having a prosthetic makeup put on. You mm -hmm. always have to be thinking about your performance because in the end, no matter how art, how good the art is, if your if your model or your actor is exhausted or sick, they're not going to show your art well, and everyone loses. So totally. you know you got to take care of your performance. Yep. Um, that so, little bit of gold paint that you just put across your prosthetic there really popped that out right yep. there. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So um, when we make our prosthetics, I make a full range in just black prosthetics just for that purpose. So I know when they are black, I just can only just dry brush that gold on and it really pops out all the relief so it speeds things up again um, and it just looks like you know real metal um, which is which is really cool because you know like a piece like that if it was like hard metal it's like you don't want to put that on a model because it would be really hard to glue on and further be really uncomfortable if you could so um, and in general like this gold it goes beautiful on top of any black wax paste paint. So if I'm doing a really fast body paint, it's a combination of this black together with like a gold. And it just ends up looking really, really cool in a really fast amount of time. Because I can just like add like little bits and pieces and it goes really quick and you can get some really cool techniques going. We have a question from Jessica. Hey, yeah. I'm a cosplayer and started to work with Kiyomi. 
body paint? Is that how it's pronounced? Do you know Kiyomi? K-I-O-M-I, K-I-O-M-I, body paint. What can I use uh, to help ensure that it will stay all day at a condition? At the moment, I use fixing powder. Mm -hmm. uh, and after this, some fixing spray. Is there something that I can do better than that to make? Uh, make sure your skin is really clean. Um, you can prep your skin. Um, there are things like, um, you know, uh, no sweat or a sweat stop that you can put on beforehand. A cleanser. A, a cleanser. Sure. Sure. Um, so making sure your skin is really, really, really clean um, will definitely help. Um, yeah, it sounds like you're doing all the right things. Um, putting on that fixing spray at the end. Uh, we tend to use Final Seal or Ben Nye all the time. Will help make it stay really well as well. Awesome. Thanks for the yeah. question, Jessica. And the rest of you watching, this is a live, live uh, Facebook Live event. So you can ask questions and we will answer them in real time. Once again, you are watching a basic body painting technique demonstration conducted by Yolanda Bartram with assistance uh, from her artist husband, Julian Bartram. They are from Body FX in New Zealand. You can check out their website, bodyfxshop.com. You will see a link in the comments section of this video. And also check them out at hashtag bodyfxnz. New Zealand. Our model today is Chili De Castro, producer and very, very physically fit uh, model for the day. It's his first uh, time being a guinea pig or something like this. Yeah. And he says it's easy, but Yolanda says it's because it's not seven hours. So don't get cocky. Yeah. <laughs> don't get cocky. Don't ever get cocky. Don't yeah, think you know. Right. You don't know till you, don't you know. do it. You don't know. And he says it's so easy. Yeah, do it. <laughs> and if anyone's seeing this uh, after the live broadcast, Body Effects has a little uh, an Ask Body Effects thing on our website. If you Stand have any there. questions, uh, we'll try and answer it. And if we don't know the answers, we'll probably just ask Stan Winston School to come to uh, uh, .com to answer it for us as well. <laughs> can we get him in the shade? That the shade? Yeah, let's mix between yeah. the shade and the sun is making it hard to uh, see. Yeah, I can feel it on my head. And uh, let's take a look at our backdrop real quick. Eric Lidoff, co-founder of Stan Winston School, has been operating camera. And we are here in Venice Beach, California. We thought, what better place to come and uh, do a free body, body painting demo. So, uh, always the best people watching in the world around here. Because we have the best people because they come from all over the world. <laughs> that's, that's Ilana's slogan. Our enterprise group sales executive. And this is Sawyer, the youngest member of the Stan Winston School team. And apparently, body painting would have been safe for Sawyer. You should have been our model, young man. <laughs> And George is with us too. And Georgia Lee Winston is assisting today. So, <laughs> following the shade. Back to the artwork. What is going on, Yolanda? All right, I'm gonna add some Ben Nye glitter glue, which is like pure liquid, um, liquidy glue. And because we gotta have some glitter, you know, can't be fully tribal without some glitter. Um, you know, this, this is not something it's you've shown us yet. It's just a clear one, yep. It's one of the best glitter glues. It's yeah. one of the best glitter glues out there. You can use Prozade as well. Um, there's so many different glues you can use, but like being model friendly, it's nice to have a glue that's not gonna take a week to get off or a whole lot of hard materials to take off. So it's nice to um, have something that will wash off very easily. I'm just putting a couple of Dabs. Oh, blue. So I'm down in Venice Beach. I'm getting painted by Body XNZ. That's their Instagram. And for the Stan Winston School, it's an art school. So they needed a body paint model. So I posted last night. Um, and, uh, Super and shiny. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to use now is our uh, is our bio glitter. This is kind of our little thing, our little gift to the world that we're trying to promote within face and body art industry. Um, it's uh, 
It's biodegradable glitter. It's glitter made from trace. Biodegradable glitter. Yes. yes. Wow. And this is your invention. No, well, it's, it's not, not our invention. Our invention. Uh, well, there's a, a company, um, uh, a major glitter company in um, England that uh, has seen the writing on the wall. And so when uh, there's festivals in New Zealand that have banned glitter because it's a microplastic. And they asked us if we could find biodegradable glitter. And, and we went, hell yeah, let's find it. Yep. So we did. And then we started a website called goodglitter.com. Um, and now we have uh, resellers all over the world selling biodegradable glitter made from sustainably grown eucalyptus trees. You so if that? there's one thing you will take from this entire Facebook mm -hmm. Live is buy biodegradable glitter. Yeah, that stuff totally. is terrible for the environment, so buy the good stuff. Yeah, well, it's, it's uh, normal glitter is a, a microplastic and it can't get caught by uh, water treatment plants. And in the US alone, 300 trillion pieces of microplastics go into the ocean every week. So let's cut that out. Exactly. And let's stop, let's it. stop doing that. Yeah. And uh, let's take a, get a good close up on this packaging so people know. Biodegradable glitter. Biodegradable glitter. That's and the you can find it on goodglitter.com. That's good right. Glitter. Com. Good glitter. Com. Check it yep. out and get yourself some. Sorry about the camera work. No, no more. Got a bunch of people around me, so it's terrible stuff. Yeah. Give me your tag for your body, New Zealand. What is uh, it? It's body effects NZ. Hashtag body effects NZ or um, hashtag good glitter. Good glitter. And you're the Winston School? Yeah, the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. Google us. Uh, we have a huge Facebook following and Instagram and YouTube. Just check us out. Yeah. They're, they're like 3 million followers. Really. It's where we do all the learning and we're professionals. That's right. <laughs> all right, bring we're us up to speed, learn. Yolanda. And don't forget to ask questions. If you have any body painting questions, cool. shout them out. So I'm just adding a bit more shading underneath all my pieces. Um, just using that eyeshadow powder again. Does that remind you of when your, your airbrush broke down? Uh, yeah, because this is, I always find air powder, you know, is like my airbrush in, you know, in a solid form. So if you have an airbrush that doesn't want to work, then um, yeah, jump to powders because it can give you the same kind of effect. Might be a little bit more time consuming, but you know, you can get really nice smooth shading. Yeah, we had a, a corporate job where we had to do three uh, superheroes uh, in two hours and our airbrush just did not want to work. And we had no idea how we were going to shade everything out in such a quick time. And then we just pulled out our kabuki brushes and then just you know went through all the model uh the, all the all the muscle detail and so yeah eyeshadow black eyeshadow good thing to have in your kit yep one of our teachers andy schoenberg says that uh, a makeup effects artist's actual job description is problem solver oh, oh yes it, it totally. sounds like that's true for you guys yeah. totally yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I sometimes enjoy it when certain things, but you know, when you go out on the job and you forget a particular brush or a particular color and you kind of go, okay, well now I have to fix this, how am I going to, you know, but most of the time you end up coming up with, you know, more interesting solutions or uh, things that you normally wouldn't do and you, you learn from those things. Uh, well, and and from some of the mistakes you make. Yeah, well, mistakes I, are cool. Yeah. Um, Necessity is the mother of invention. This right. is so very true. All right, I'm just going to be using this. Uh, Flicky brush, just adding some more texture to everything. I'm just gonna dip this in this water and gonna add this black. So, um, like flicking paint, um, any special effects artist would be doing this just with their alcohol based paint, so layer up on layer. Um, you can do the same thing with just normal water based face paints. Um, and I really enjoy doing this because uh, most of my work tends to have a bit of a grunginess, a bit of a a dirty streak to it, so this this is a good thing to do with it. So, um, this is a new brush. This is a new Ben Eye brush. So I'm uh, gonna have a wee play with that because it's pretty cool. This? This? May I have a moment with you, please? Oh, I'm not sure. We're in Can the we? middle of a lesson. Is it? <laughs> it it's very important. Okay. okay. Are you with her? Yeah. This has to go to the boardwalk. You can't place this okay. in the car. Well, okay. Oh, so okay. any open spaces along the boardwalk, like these vendors, okay. you can okay. do that there. Yeah, but you, can, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, but you can't do this in the car. Sure. Sure. No problem. Perfect. Oh, sure. Okay. okay. Thank you. But that's, uh, that's uh, those are not permitted spaces. Got it. We, did not, we thought you. it was the opposite, so thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
All right. We have just been told we have to move because uh, we shouldn't be on the grass. But we've been, I guess, squatting here illegally for the and last hour. It was permanent on the boardwalk. <laughs> 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 my my, my, my buddy boardwalk. owns that henna tent right there. Oh, he does? My buddy owns it. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Well, we're going to, we want to scoot no, right there. We, have a, we have a mat for you. I'm going to take this. Let's yeah, take the mat that you, you can stand on, so you don't have to stand on the ground. It's going to be super comfortable. All the time there we go, everybody. Yeah, just uh, scoot everything over here, and here we go. We're moving it. It's just the way it goes. Right on that. We don't mind. No problem. We're just going to bake here. Good thing we're almost done so that uh, everyone doesn't melt. Hey, uh, Chris Ellerby wants to see a wider shot of the uh, the body paint. So let's get in there and, and get a full physique and, and headdress so Chris can see it. So this is a, a sort of a tribal look that Yolanda's going for. She's mixed all kinds of paints, all kinds of materials so far. And uh, we have a very fit model, which always helps to yeah. accent stuff. Thanks for the question, Chris. Chris is our forum admin at Stan Winston School of Character Arts. Check out our forum. We have a great uh, heroes and villains art contest going on now. So check out nice. the Stan Winston School of Character Arts forum and you'll meet Chris Ellerby. All right. Yeah. Just going to do some more plugging. Careful with your phone. Yeah, the flicking. This is the flicking technique. This is actually used all the time in makeup effects yeah. uh, to get lifelike uh, skin coloring. Um, exactly. Skin is never a solid color. It's layers of Flex of color. Um, so, so this is a technique you've seen a lot on our yep. site. So yeah, that's where I got this technique from. You know, just doing normal special effects, but why not use it for you know within body paints? Right. Just I'm makes it more it. interesting. If you turn it around, what do you think? Just as long as it's not blown out. Hey, why don't you guys tell us uh, how does this look better? If we're a little shaded, where'd that troll go? I don't think it's possible to find shaded. Tilt this way a little bit. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, back to me a little bit, please. Turn, uh, turn oh, to me a little bit. Tell us, guys, is the shaded skin better or the full sun skin? Let us know. And we have another question here, Yolanda. What is the your what would you consider your basic body painting kit? What do you have with you at all times? And in um, fact, maybe we can show it. Um, at all basic? times, ah. <laughs> I would definitely have my mirror powders and the mixing liquids. Um, I always have my black, I have a white, and then whatever colors I want to be working with. Um, it's nice to have a good collection of colors and different kind of brands, but um, if, even if you just have like six main colors that you enjoy working with, that should be enough. Um, it really depends on what kind of design you're going for. And I don't know if I mentioned that question was from Nancy. Alright, there's not much going on at the back here. No, I'm trying to see yeah. what's better, how it's better to see. Lighting wise. Because yep. we're not getting any responses from anybody. Oh, sun is better, they're saying. Okay. Okay, sun we're going to stay in the sun for you. Okay, tilt to me right. a little bit more. I have a shine. That's the spot. Good. Maybe. Uh, no? Oh, Pick a little less shadow on. Maybe okay. this way a little bit? That's the spot. Okay. Cool. Does that thing rattle off pictures too? Because you're definitely going to want pictures. I think what else you know what can I mean? add to it? I don't even think about it. Once again, you are joining us for a free body painting basics techniques, uh, basic body painting techniques tutorial with the folks from Body FX in New Zealand, Julian and Yolanda Bartram. They just came from the World Body Painting Festival, uh, and they have a little stop over here in LA, and we got lucky enough to get them to join us out here in Venice, California for a quick demo yeah. for you guys. Yeah. The sun, once the sun covers And it. once again, it's a live event, so we can answer your questions in real time. Any of you body painters out there, cosplayers. You gonna do some uh, tribally? Yeah, we'll add some uh, yeah. tribal on his face as well. Talk to us about the brush you're using, nice fine. Yeah, so this is a, this is a Mark Reed signature brush. Uh, it's a really nice one. It's a, it's a nice firm brush, like you can't really use makeup brushes for body painting, you want to have more fine art brushes. Really think painting, you know, so not necessarily makeup. It's not like I don't use makeup brushes, like I am using like these soft fluffy ones for my powder work, um, for any kind of shading, but yeah, for any kind of paint paint, you want to get fine art brushes that will 
make your life a lot easier and you get really nice crisp lines with that. I'm just adding some drips to my work, adding a bit of that. We are live at the Stan Winston School of Art. And what's that? Our Stan Winston School of Character Art. Our narrator just took off to put some change in his meter, but we're going to keep broadcasting live on Facebook Live today. My name is Chile De Castro, and I'm being painted by Yolanda, who is Body FXNZ. Check out her stuff. They also sell products. Uh, there's a, an organic glitter. I'm not sure if you know or not, but glitter is actually plastic based, and they are changing that to use an organic glitter base. So I'm sure there's gonna be several posts here where you can find a link to that on the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. Just cleaning up these lines. Someone just asked me if I was part Indian. The answer is no. We did a DNA test in my family. There is no Indian in me, but I am willing to say that I'm Indian if you need me to. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. This is a school of character art, so I would never lie. But uh, check out the body painting. It's pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, we're just trying to get through as many different techniques for you as possible. Uh, normally we would do a you know, four hour body paint. I tell you what, any, if there are any as, uh, aspiring makeup artists or body painters, start face painting. It's gonna make you some money so you can buy some product. Oh yeah, buy face, start face painting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's saying if you start face painting then you can make a little bit of money and then buy more product and totally. then continue to face paint and then go into body painting. And with... face painting is such a good add-on to being a makeup artist as well. Like um, the way how I can do an eyeliner is flawless just because I've done, you know, 20 years of face painting, you know. If you can paint a wiggly kid in like three minutes, you can paint like, you know. Okay, we've, we've got a question from, I think it's Matthias. How would you go about making a scaly look with body painting? Oh, scaly looks. Um, my pick would go find your right stencil. It would be the very easiest thing to do. Um, the other thing you can do is, dope that looks. again, working with uh, with one strokes can help a lot as well. That looks chuck a, chuck a some scales down on the, the wrist. Yeah. I'm going to throw some scales down here on the bottom for the question, so I'm going to answer that cool. question. So using a bit of a one stroke, like I don't have a scaly stencil. Um, I know there's a lot of people doing scales now, like the whole mermaid look is very popular. Um, so a lot of people are doing fishnet stockings um, and, paint, and pressing paint through that. Uh, it's very possible too, but at some point it gets a bit boring, I personally think. Man, it's so hot here, my paint dries like the minute I touch skin. So using a one stroke you can work with depth and shade in one go. So in that way you can build up a scaly texture pretty damn quick. Um, of course doing a full body it's you're gonna be spending a lot of time. Like if you spread out a, a human being it's like two square meters in size. So that's that's a lot of painting to do that's a big canvas so when you do anything it's nice to be aware of um, how tedious things can end up being and certain things you just can't do because of the time you can't expect your model to be standing for like you know a full day that's that's insane also aesthetically aesthetically for scales uh, I like the idea of doing them in pockets exactly so you would do a couple there and then you would add a couple there and you would just kind of mix and match it up and not necessarily do a full body like that um, if you're airbrushing scales through a stencil it's really hard to match it up continuously so again that's where you would do a little bit of scaling move on to another piece do a little bit of scaling and so yeah you just kind of play around with that 
Uh, but of course you can, you can if you want to have a real tedious time and like, you know, you can just keep on painting and adding more and more and more to it. Looks so. beautiful. It works, right? It really is incredible. And quick. Yeah. And quick, yeah. The palette's amazing. And the artistic stroke, of course. Oh, of course. Of course. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I would fail miserably. It would look like a bunch of colors mixed together if it was me. Well, one, one other thing that we do uh, with all our leftover paint is we scrape it all and put it into a palette and we, we match it up with all the... We don't have we don't have a cake on us with that, do we? No, we kind of do. Oh, yeah, like, that's yeah. one. That's so our this power. Is, we turn that into a power paint, so we add a little bit of black and so it's oh. like a multiple color kind of cake. So all I have to do is just wet my sponge and just dab it on and then I have all these colors in one go. So it's kind of cool. And, and you can you can uh, save money by putting all your leftover paint into another cake and reusing it. So uh, yeah, we're always conscious about budget. About budget and uh, and and waste. You know, don't like the waste stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you throw anything away, you're you're wasting your tools. Exactly. You pay hard earned money for that. Just adding a nice finishing cup there, but adding a little bit of shading underneath that as well, so we'll make it up, pop a little bit. Ooh. Adding a bit of powder underneath any of your lines can make your lines look a lot softer and a little bit smoother straight away. Now I'm just gonna try like um now it's really warm here so I'm not sure if it's gonna work but in general when your paint is still wet you can press glitters into that as well so you don't necessarily always need to have uh, a glue or an adhesive to stick your glitter down so glitter is really nice to just add as that extra little highlight Alright, what else can we add? What else? Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's just work a bit, of, a bit of paint on the face as well. I know it's body painting, but you know, it's, it's always nice to think in characters. So, if we're going for this kind of like tribal look, we might as well add a bit of face to that as well. So, um, just going to have you close your eyes. So, we're filming for Stan Winston's School of Character Art, doing a live basic body paint class for just a little over an hour so hit us up if you have any questions uh, for Yolanda uh, or myself to answer but happy to, would be happy to answer them for you so yeah so this is just the same body paint uh, you use on your body as well as on face so there is really no difference. So initially I want to work with a strong black line and I'm just going to fade that out with the black Ben Nye eyeshadow. This is a really nice shadow powder because it's a really, really strong pigment and it covers really quick. That's better for around the eye, huh? Well, if you want to have a nice fade, definitely. Again, this would be an easy thing to do if you have your airbrush with you, but if you don't, working with powders is just as good. Okay, Yolanda, we have another question from Nancy. Oh. What is the shelf life of different paints? Alcohol-based, water-based paints, etc. I would say alcohol-based paints, they will last you a lot longer. Um, however, I've got face paints that, yeah, 
they, they don't die very quick. Um, if you are doing a body paint though and you are dipping your brush back from the skin into the paint, um, you might want to revise your paints. Um, yeah, uh, it's not really nice if you, you know, end up painting bum cracks and then using that paint later on onto someone else's face. So just be aware of that, what you're doing with your paint. Um, because yeah, you do need to get into like those nitty gritty areas. Nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. You have to get in the nitty gritty areas. We don't, yeah. I don't even, I don't know if many people in America say nitty gritty, but it sounds like a more New Zealand term, nitty gritty. Is he? Is nitty, it? Nitty gritty, mate. Nitty, nitty gritty? You have to get into nitty gritty crevices. Yes. So be aware of what you're doing to your paint. I, I think, that... I think like, one thing you need to consider, Nancy, is that uh, the way face and body paint is presented especially the water-based stuff and they already look like petri dishes and so if you're if you're um using if your brush etiquette etiquette right. uh, you, you know your cleaning regimen is not um adequate you to you're gonna up? put bacteria okay, in there, and then that's gonna be bad so uh you need to ensure that your brushes are, are, are cleaned um, you need to make sure that like, when we're face painting, we typically use one sponge per child, uh, so we're not transferring other people's problems onto our paint, or you know. Uh, and we're always cleansing our paint. When we take our paint home, we uh, wipe it all down, and then we put it into a, a hot water closet. Do you guys have hot water closets? Is that what it's called? Uh, you, you mean like a, cup, air, like a warm air cupboard? Yeah. We just kind of put in an airing an airing cupboard. That's where we put it into a nice dark, dry area, uh, and it dries out the paint and a cupboard. In other words, a cupboard. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, any <laughs> okay. cupboard will do. Sure. I guess. Cupboard. Yeah. Humidifier is what you're trying to say. Well, right. yeah, just dry, dry, dry. Yeah, everybody loves a fire truck. That's the LA Fire Department. Uh, doesn't look like they're heading off to an emergency or maybe. Let's hope everything's okay. So here we are in Venice, California, doing a basic body painting techniques uh, tutorial on Facebook Live with Yolanda and Julian Bartram. Uh, another gift for free, uh, contact lenses. We're not, we're not bringing, putting any contact lenses in our model today, but one thing that always makes your body paint look better is a contact lens. Uh, Especially if you're doing any kind of characters, it definitely adds to whatever design you're doing. It just makes it. But we would say, we would say to be very careful uh, with those. Um, the, the ready-made contact lenses you can buy, the costume lenses, so you just have to be careful. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And never swap them in between models, you know? Once they're in one model, that's uh, they're theirs for life, so. Which can be a nice little gift for your model as well, so. And, and if you're rich, uh, uh, nine millimeter uh, lenses, I think it's called nine millimeter lens.com. Uh, they're a British based contact lens place. Most of the film industry use those. Like uh, the, the lenses on walking gear. Nine millimeter yeah, lenses? Yeah, nine mm. They're nine fantastic. Mm. They're about, Two hundred and fifty dollars or pounds per lens, so they're not cheap. But oh boy, are they effective! And are they prescription lenses? Yes, yes. So yes, these are custom, custom fit to your eyeball. Yes, and that's the safest way to yeah. go. Oh yeah, yeah. But it, it costs more. But your eyes are kind of priceless. Yeah. Well, at least that's what we think here at Stanley. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, let's flag. let's talk about some art, Yolanda. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just gonna keep on going until you guys say like, oh, that's enough. So I'm just adding more and more stuff to it. I'm just using that one stroke again. Just making this whole like piece look a little bit bigger. I would say, I know we could have you paint for hours. Oh yeah, totally. To that, but why don't yeah. we give it a 10 minute, let's say 10 cool. minutes left to paint. Wait. Um, so guys, we have 10 minutes left to this live webcast. That means you have 10 minutes left to ask questions. If you are interested in learning body painting or if you're already an experienced body painter who wants to learn more, we have two world-class body painters here with us today who can answer those questions. So please shout them out in the comments and we will ask them. So um, do me a favor, follow my business page. It's called Coded Friends, C-O-D-E-D. -E 
friends, Coded Friends, that's on Instagram or Facebook. And if you want to register at the website, that helps me a lot. Thanks. And this is Chili De Castro. Hi, I'm Chili De Castro. I'm up for the day. C H I L L E De Castro. Fun day. It's a fun location. All right. Just connecting this uh, little shoulder armor piece to uh, to all of that. Nice. Making it seem like it's all part of one thing. Yeah, I can it's definitely feel cool. the weight in my legs after standing here long enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was talking shit yeah, earlier. It was easy. <laughs> it was easy for earlier, me. it was so yes. easy. Now after being here for like an hour, yeah. I'm, 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 I can feel the weight in my legs. So you finally have I some respect for models. Yeah, yeah. I, listen, I have always respected yeah. models. Yeah. I, I respect yeah. all you models that come on set and work with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, you I just, do. I can literally feel it in my legs. Oh, yeah. legs and you're getting, on a nice comfy mat. Too. Legs are getting heavy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Being a body painting model is not easy. It is not. It's really hard. There's nothing quick or easy in production no. or in Hollywood. Clearly, nothing's yeah. quick and nothing's easy. No, it really and isn't. And if it is, it's not, it's not worth it. Good enough. Yeah. It doesn't look like this. It doesn't look dope. All right, I'm just gonna add some more greens to just make here. Make sure you uh, wiggle your toes lots. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Keeps, that keeps it. Just the blood flow. It's the number one tip. Just keep wiggling. It's like what you learn when you uh, do military stuff and you're on parade and you're standing for so long. The number one thing is wiggle those toes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the first thing they told us was, first thing they told us, what everybody does is, like you were saying earlier, is they lock their legs and they go right down. You see them on the line in, yep. in, in basic training, yeah, and they just drop. It's the worst, the locking. Don't lock your legs, body painting models. You will pass out. Going to get you some sugar? So, no, no, I'm good. Let's, uh, let's narrate the, uh, the art right now. You just added Just adding green. a little bit more green on the sides. See if we can get some more finished in time. So I'm, I'm just using that big kabuki brush as well with the black powder. So we can add a bit more shading in this area. You gonna pop out his guns? Yeah, we have to do that too. So this shading allows you to accentuate the anatomy that's already <laughs> yeah, there exactly. for a more dramatic effect. And even create some anatomy that isn't there. Exactly, it's kind of fun. That's why I married a body painter. <laughs> Before you guys have your private time, she body paints you? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Every time? Every yeah. time. Every yeah, time. Yeah, very yeah. labor intensive. Well, you know. Oh, yeah, well, Why don't you, you just know, we call out? that foreplay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta test all the products. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, doing abs and muscle definition is so, you know, it's so often requested. Um, and like I said, it's, it's really nice to be able to offer that to, especially your male models, because they want to, no, they want to show all their bits and pieces. I did do a, a body paint once on a guy and he was like heavily obese and he wanted to have his abs painted on and I could, you know, you can do it at the front and it's just like the profile, it's just like... It's just round. Yeah, you can't do the profile thing, but... He loved it. Oh yeah, he loved it. It was great. It was the easiest workout ever for him. So ditch the gym membership and get yourself some body paints. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I do every day. I just body paint it in and I take a picture, put it on my Instagram, and then I just keep going. Yep. It takes me 15 minutes to body paint. It take an hour at the gym. Screw that. That's right. That's right. Are we looking, Jill? So we are about five minutes out. we got about five minutes left here for this demo. Yolanda is doing some finishing touches to this demonstration. She's been no, trying no, to cover no, no, no. lots of techniques Silver? for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, from stencils oh, we can, to we can just do like adding this. prosthetic elements, costume see, pieces. Let's see if that'll be fun. And uh, let's zoom in and see what she's working on now. All right. This is a, a jewel suggestion, so I'm just going to see if that's going to work out. All these feathers flying around. Ooh, we um, have some drippage. Dripping. Dripping is always fun to add to your designs as well. Oh, um, that was intentional. This is intentional. Cool. Oh, you know, and if you make that mistake, then yeah, of course it is always <laughs> always intentional. Um, Let nature do your work for you a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, especially this the gold or silver with the mixing liquid. You can drip over any kind of paint, and you can get some really cool effects. 
No, oh, that's awesome. And the darker the color that's underneath, the more it pops, of course. Um, Anything organic mm -hmm. on time, uh, on top. And you really are only limited by your imagination. I mean, already totally. today you've you've really just been following your your muse and making this up and uh, adding layers, and that's the sort of sort of the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, and of course, the longer you've been doing body painting and the more different techniques and skills you require, the easier it is for you to just kind of whip up random things. Um, do, do you think it comes down to fa uh, face painting or body painting? Oh, I think it's a real mix of the two. Um, I think, I think if, you're, if you're face painting, you're, um, you do, you, you're getting your 10,000 hours in. You know, your line work and your color choices and your blending, and you're making money. Yeah, which means you can buy that uh, uh, European body art kit or, you know, that airbrush or uh, an extend your repertoire. So I think one, one major thing is face painting is going to make you money and then you can get into the, the technique and, and, and get in the really awesome kit. You know, a lot of people wonder, how do I break into the big leagues? Well, you got to play in the small leagues for a while. Oh, yeah. you got to put in your time because everyone in the big leagues yep. has put in their time. That's who you're competing against. Totally. The best professionals in the world with, you know, decades of experience sometimes. So don't be afraid to start at the bottom. That's where everyone started. And be humble and just practice, practice, practice. more about Yolanda Bartram and her husband Julian Bartram and their body painting world, go to their website, bodyfxshop.com. That's B-O-D-Y-F-X-S-H-O-P.com. It's in the comments section under this video. You can also check them out at hashtag bodyfxnz for New Zealand. Yeah, for all our products, we do ship internationally. Um, and for our glitters, we do have uh, various dealers and shops that we sell through here in the States. So you can go and find our glitters everywhere, which is awesome. Yeah, I like that. Biodegradable glitter, guys. No more of this uh, horrible plastic, plastic stuff. stuff. That's right. All right. Um, finish that side off. That off. Looks so cool. Now, of course, we today we focus mainly on the front, so there's nothing really going on at the back. Um, there definitely will be some areas that I would have missed, but And I the, hope goal, the goal here today was not to do his entire body, but no. to really show, show a, a whole grab bunch. bag of techniques you guys can That's use. That's right. That's right. So I hope the end result is kind of something that gives you some ideas, some inspiration, Get you fired up to go and get some paints and start painting. And before we check check uh, check out and say goodbye, please walk us through the chronology of this paint up and talk to us about what you did. All right. So what we did, we started off with the base, um, doing a nice goldy bronze base with the mirror mixing liquid and powders. Um, we applied some foam latex prosthetics that we have in all sorts of sizes and designs. Um, Jules being attacked by a bug. That was a huge bee. That was, I mean, it's huge. <laughs> he really liked you. Um, so yeah, our foam latex prosthetics. Um, so like I said, these little doodads, we tend to make more for breasts, but they can be used anywhere, which is cool. Um, we did these little arm sleeve cuffs where we started off with a strong line and blended it away with some sponging. And then with our kabuki brush, we've worked in another lighter color. So we have a gradient of like three different colors right here. Um, and I used some one strokes, um, which was that cake with the multiple colors like this guy. Um, use a big flat brush to get that technique down. Um, it's a really cool, cool technique to be working with. Um, you will have to have a bit of practice with that to get your handle on that brush stroking. Um, outlined it, then added a lot of uh, gold. Uh, again with the mixing liquid on top of the prosthetics really kind of dry brush it and make the colors pop out uh, we did um, here on the arm 
we had the effects paste that I worked with. Um, I mixed it in with a little bit of black paint to get that extra texture. So this kind of texturing is really fun to be using for any kind of creatures. It's very fast and easy if you work it through a stencil. Um, and then you could even dry brush that with a little bit of gold as well if you would want to. Um, used a lot of stenciling. I'm um, using organic stencils here with some gold. We use it also here with some powders. Um, black eyeshadow powder. Uh, we did some flicking. Scales. Um, yes, there was a request for the scales, so I did a little demo on how to do quick scales. This is a way of doing scales. There's so many other ways that we discussed. Um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we stuck on some feathers right there just to finish things off. So if you know, um, when I teach a lot of body painting for beginners, they might not necessarily be super skilled with brushes. So adding little pieces of lace and things like having a corset, for instance, adding some lace things to it really makes it for an interesting body paint minus having to have a lot of skills. So um, we did some gold dripping, finish it off with another bit of one stroke. Um, yeah, um, added some color the on the face. Just a little bit of black just to kind of tie it all in. Um, this is a very fast body paint with a crazy amount of different techniques so if I would be doing this kind of thing for a full body I'll be like here for like another at least another four hours I'd say yeah. Um, but yeah we don't have the time for that today so it's uh this is kind of it so I hope everybody enjoyed this cool. yeah, all right thank gather you. around Julian Thanks. get in here we're gonna say goodbye okay. we're gonna say goodbye all right thank you as always for joining us on the Stan Winston School Facebook hey. page uh, it's our pleasure to occasionally throw and Julia Bartram, Julian Bartram from Body FX. Do it one more time, I get interrupted. One oh, more I'm time. sorry. Uh, we're going to thank our, our artists today, uh, uh, Yolanda Bartram and Julian Bartram for assisting. They are from Body FX in New Zealand. Please check them out at bodyfxshop.com. Also, hashtag bodyfxnz for New Zealand. Also, our model, big thanks to Chili, Chili De Castro, a uh, producer here in Los Angeles who helped us out last minute and who is in very good shape and makes all the other men here very angry and, feel, and we feel <laughs> insignificant, so thank you for that. Um, and uh, I am Matt Winston, co-founder of Stan Winston School. On camera today has been Eric Lidoff, also co-founder of Stan Winston School. Assisting has been Georgia Winston, my daughter, and uh, Ilana Slogat. Thank you for helping put this together with your son, Sawyer, who's in there. And then uh, finally, we'd like to thank our social media admin, Dimitar Dimitrov for answering your questions online. Most of all, thanks to all of you. We have nothing without your support, and we hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time. Now we wave. Cool. Thanks, Go guys. Hey, thank you. Bye.